everyone. I cannot believe I'm not back in school today. I really thought I would be there. Um, I miss you guys so much, but I will be back tomorrow. Um, I hope you're doing the right thing and following directions and getting your name written down in a positive way so you're really, really standing out. So when I come back, I can give you lots of high fives and hugs and cheers for being an awesome job and doing what you're supposed to do, um, which I know you are. So um, here is the plan for today. First, you're all going to watch this video together. We're still talking about subtraction with regrouping today. Um, we're gonna focus on the box trick. So yesterday we did the subtraction poem. Today we're gonna practice what we need, what needs to happen if we subtract across zeros and we have to draw that box that we've been practicing. Um, so you'll watch this video and do that first. Then there's another video just like yesterday um, in your independent work packet, we're gonna go backwards again today. So we'll start with our math notebook, just like yesterday. We'll finish that last problem using the box trick. Then after that, we will go on to some practice with subtracting across zeros. Uh, we'll move into subtracting to make change because that's something you're gonna have to do a lot in life um, is making change and that involves subtracting across zeros a lot. So you'll do that with me in the packet. Then we'll get to your daily common core and your mixed multiplication review. Um, after that, um, that's your homework today. So if you have all of that done and completed, um, you're good to go. Put that in the important side of your binder. And then when I'm really back tomorrow, I'll get to check it and see how you did with that. And we'll go over it. Um, and then you can use the rest of your time to do a round of extra math to keep practicing those basic facts. And then finish off the day with ST math. So like I said, be awesome, do what's right, make smart choices, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Let's start today with a quick review from yesterday of our subtraction poem. So take a look on the windows above uh, where the shades are and look at subtraction poem. That's what we're going to say together. Go ahead and stand up. Push in your chair. And we are going to say the poem with big gestures and loud voices together on three, two, one. More on the top. No need to stop. More on the floor. Go next door and get ten more. Numbers the same, zeros the game. You can do it louder and more together and just generally better. Come on, let's do it again. Ready? Three, two, one. More on the top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get ten more. Numbers the same, zeros the game. All right. Now that you remember the steps for that, we are going to review how to do the box trick. So if you have a bunch of zeros, if you go next door and there's a zero there, I'm going to show you what you can do to make the problem a little easier for you. Let's get started. Alrighty, at this point, you should be sitting in your seat and go ahead and flip your packet to this page right here, box trick checklist. This is something that we have already learned. We've been practicing it on Daily Common Core for a really long time. Today, we're just gonna focus on doing just this in math today. So remember, you do not do the box trick for every single subtraction problem with regrouping. Um, these are the reasons why you're going to want to do the box trick. First reason, if you cannot subtract the ones place. So looking at this problem right here, I have zero minus six, and there is more on the floor, so I can't subtract without going next door to get 10 more. So that's the first thing that has to happen. The next thing is if there's a zero in the tens place. So in this problem, when I go next door to get 10 more, there is a zero, so there's nothing to take from next door. So then I'm gonna follow these steps to do the box trick. Step one, put a box around the tens and hundreds. So my box starts with the first zero where we can't regroup, 
and I keep drawing a box until I get to the next number that's not zero. So in this case, it's right next door. It's a five. So I draw a box around five, zero, or 50. Then I'm going to cross it off. You can do it like this and cross off the whole thing. Or if you want, you can cross off each individual number. So like cross out the five by itself and change it to a four. Every zero inside the box is going to be changed to a nine. So you could cross out individual numbers or just think, okay, it's 50. I'm changing it to 49. Then that is what we just did. We made it one less to 49. Then you are going to cross off the ones and carry it up or... You Another way of saying carrying it up is when you cross out this zero and we're adding 10 that we borrowed from over here. So zero plus 10 would be 10, which is add a 10 to the ones and subtract. So it looks like this. So you should have your five changes to a four, your zero inside the box changes to a nine, and your zero outside the box changes to a 10. Then you can subtract to get 244. Okay, it's time for you to go ahead off and do work on your own now. So stop airplaying this video. Um, you're actually going to need your math notebook first. So take that out, open to NBT 23, the page we've been working on. We're finally going to finish that last problem on there. So math notebook's out, grab a calculator, um, make sure you have headphones, and the rest of the class today is going to be just following the videos at your own pace and working on your own. I'll see you in a second.